I do this a lot of times whenever I have a tree that has a broken branch limb. I cut it off and I say, hmm, here's a good opportunity to have an additional tree. This lime tree is actually um, almost three years old, if not three years old. It did fruit this year, but the blooms fell off. It was rather disappointing, but the good news is next year I should be good. All right, let's move you to another location. I want to get my pot ready because this is going into a pot. Beat it, squirrel. You got to watch some little monsters. Look how he tried to sneak away. Look like he has something in his mouth. These little monsters. I'm about to spray. I just watered out here and um, they're taking an the opportunity to uh, not go out the water, but uh, they don't think I'm looking. All right, let me not get off track. Give me a few seconds, get a pot together. We're going to go with the uh, one gallon today, or half a gallon. Now this pot is going to actually stay outside until it starts getting cold and then it will go inside with the rest of the lemons and limes and citrus. Uh, while I'm here, here's a few more citruses I have. Uh, I had a Kalamundan orange. Uh, this right here is a Wari Satsuma. Um, over here is a, it's an orange tree. I cannot think of the name of the orange tree. Of course, the lime. I have a three-year-old lemon here that's actually doing horrible. This is my pride and joy. This tree is actually uh, going in the second year. <sighs> Look at that, beautiful. Last year produced uh, two lemons. This year is loaded. Look at that, it's four right there. One here, one there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. About 11 lemons. Not sure how many are going to survive, but those lemons should be ready roughly about winter time. By then, it'll be inside the house. Okay, so back to this. Let's water first. After this, I have to spray down these tomatoes because um, they got me yesterday. So what we're going to do is wet this down. Boom. All right, time to operate.
All right, this is the first one. Let's see, we're gonna remove some of these. And the reason why we're removing the leaves is to encourage more growth for the uh, for the root system. Not too much focus on anything this year as far as fruit or even leaves. <laughs> You can even remove the thorns if you like. I know it's like a defense for the um, for the plant. But this is what I do, and we're gonna leave the rest. We're gonna dip. Good, look at that and drop in simple as that Got to remove some of these thorns. Don't want to get bit by this thing. Ooh, I know this looks harsh. But, um, you get used to it. Like I said, this is just what I do. Because it actually works for me. So home and trying okay so you can actually do this method with um we're gonna make a bonsai out of this like i've seen oh, i knew it was gonna happen blooper reel ah i'm gonna keep that part in <laughs> blooper reel I moved it the first time because I said I'm gonna knock this over and then what did I do <laughs> I knocked it over well it gives me an opportunity to try something new also that I've seen online seen videos about and we're gonna see if that actually works since we made this big boo-boo all right can't cry with spilt milk okay so what I'm gonna do is try this I actually seen some people do this and and the leaf will actually root I mean what do I have to lose real interesting if this actually grows into a tree
Okay. All right. Back to our schedule program. What I was trying to do was I was trying to do this. Ooh, got bit again. That smells delicious. So again, scrape down the cadmium layer. Might as well. If this does as good as I think it'd do, I'm gonna be giving away lime trees. I don't need all these lime trees. I'd be happy with two or three, preferably two. These things grow kind of tall, maybe eight feet. And we're gonna go, we're gonna remove right here above this node, right there. Some people take the leaves, they dry them out, crumple them, and um, sprinkle it over your carpet, vacuum it up. Beautiful scent in the house. I think some of these are going to take and some won't. It's gonna be very interesting though. Nice little experiment. By mistake. By making a mistake. Gotta experiment on the way. Okay, there you have it. We're going to check on these in the weeks to come. And let's take a little picture of how it okay. looks. What I did is I took a photo of how everything looks. And we're going to compare it in the next few weeks. So again, thanks for watching and stay tuned.